So we already know how it's gonna go. After the Smith lets in three goals, limited amount of shots. Oh, he's terrible. He's awful. Listen, the only goal I can really blame on the Smith is the second goal. He bit on that short side, let Forsberg just nip him. He was worried about O'Reilly on the back door, so I kind of understood it. They were just unfortunate. The Smith still made a couple nice stops in the game. But my main concern about the Canucks going forward isn't really the goaltender. It's uh, Pedersen. Where is he? Is he Casper the Friendly Ghost? Where is he on the ice? He needs to produce on the score sheet. Your leading scorer for the Canucks is Dakota Joshua, and he has had a great playoff. I'm not taking anything away from him. But if you're going to win in the playoffs, especially after losing your starter, you're going to need your stars to produce. Now, Besser and JT Miller have a point each. Even that, you want a bit more from your top end players. But Pedersen has been completely invisible. And if the Canucks are going to do anything in the playoffs this year, they need him to be an impactful player and be dynamic. And as for the Nashville Predators, if you're going to win a game, that is how you're going to win them. They were very good defensively, locked up the Canucks players, and Soros played really well in net. He cut down the angle, was really aggressive, showed his lateral quickness, he made some spectacular saves. He is one of the best goalies in the NHL for a reason. So what's the game plan going forward? What should the Canucks do? Well, they need to take advantage of Soros' aggressiveness due to his smaller stature, kind of shooting low shots opening yourself up for easy tap and rebounds. I know that's easier said than done, but you can score on a guy like Soros if you go with the right game plan. Sometimes being simple is better than trying to go for the pretty play. And as for the Predators, I mean, stay the course. Make sure you play responsible defensive hockey. You don't have the firepower the Canucks do on paper, but you do have great players in Forsberg, Nyquist, and O'Reilly to keep yourself competitive. With Demko potentially being out for the rest of this series, Things might not go well for the Canucks. It is early in the series. It's only 1-1. Who knows? Maybe the Canucks go the next game and bury 10. But it does worry me that Pedersen is just invisible out there. But I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Who impressed you the most in this game? I'll see you in the next one.